What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to the Rockets Hidden Heartbreaks. We took a couple weeks off because of the holiday, but we're back. And boy, do we have some not-so-great things to talk about this weekend. Or this week, I should say. Man, uh, it, it was a heartbreak all the way around pretty much all weekend for the rockets uh, did get a little nice cash at aqueduct got a few things home there boy a lot of four out of fives and just heartbreaking four out of fives and just ugh, kind of lose sleep four out of fives uh, in some of these situations so uh, like i've said on this uh show that we do many many times it, it, you can get in some bad luck situations you can get in a boy i just can't do anything right situations whether it's structure or handicapping and uh, I'm going to actually highlight four tickets this week uh, that just I, I angered me to no end. They all happened on Sunday. Sunday was one of the worst days ever for for me as far as just beats that I just thought were horrible. Uh, and some worse than others. All right. Let's start it off. Uh, we'll, we'll have our therapy session here. Let me get my banner off the screen. Let's start it off with Gulfstream Park late pick five on Sunday. I'll go ahead and share the results. I've got the the uh, tickets down on the screen so you can see down at the bottom there uh, so you can follow along with the tickets. $96 ticket, late pick five here. I'm gonna pull up the results on the screen now for us and we're kinda gonna go through it. Three by four by four by a single by four. This one bothered me the least amount because at least at the end of the day I was like, okay, my handicapping just was wrong here, but it still was kind of heartbreaking. Start off with a nice uh, winner here at $6.26 bourbon ready when we went three deep. So uh, good start there. We go over here to uh, the next of the seventh race. Uh, another went four deep. Uh, little concerning when you get a $6 winner when you go four deep. Uh, I, I will say that. And so that was one man. We maybe could have went a little bit shorter. Caramel Chip was our second course on the ticket. So a little bit of a sickening feeling, but still feeling good. We're two for two, and everything's feeling good. Right here was a good one. Uh, we went 6, 7, 10, 11. By the way, this was a terrifying race. Had the uh, seven uh, Bo Derrick breakdown. Unfortunately, had to be uh, euthanized in this race. And the horse was in, getting ready to take the lead. Was in front of every horse but one. Broke down. I was so scared for Luis Saez, who was aboard, but he ended up being okay. Uh, so every, everybody okay other than Bo Derek, obviously, uh, but all the other horses that fell and jockeys are okay. Um, tragic thing. But as we get, you know, it's a, it's a tough game sometimes. You get to the handicapping part of it. The six was our last horse on the ticket, and the six won the race. So you're feeling pretty good. You're single uh, by four horses here going in the last two legs. And just a total whiff of the single. And so this is, you know, one of the ways we talk about you lose these races. You have a strong opinion and the opinion didn't come in. There's not much you can do about it. Total whiff here, like I said, uh, Cyclone Mischief wins the race. Horse I liked a little bit, but had to go short. Had to go with the six Rudders men, a horse I was excited for. Rudders men nowhere to be found. Not even <laughs> hitting the board, just completely stopped. So the ticket goes, you know, goes belly up. Uh, for lack of a better term. And then uh, this two horse Stormy Victory in the last leg was 15 to one and was our top choice in the race at 15 to one. Now, obviously a bad morning line. The horse does get it done, pay, pays 880 here on the win end. And you look at this pick five, pays $1,500. And you know, with Rudder's Men, it probably pays you know more like eight, but still would have been a nice pick. And so, like I said, this one, hey, it's an example of the handicapping was wrong. And I'm the first one to admit it. Runners men finished fifth in a race where I had him single. But I had to take a stand somewhere. I, I, I had a strong opinion on him. He didn't get it done. It is what it is. So you kind of move on from that when you're like, okay, not that big a deal. Now let's go to where I start to get really mad. Oakland Park. This one angers me to no end. So $96 ticket once again. Almost singled right here, but did not want to single in Arkansas bread. That's what it all came down to. But I did like the six quite a bit. Uh, didn't single, though. Went too deep. Got the six home. If you watch this race, never in doubt. So good way to kick it off. Now, this is where things really make me angry. Uh, went four deep in the next leg. Had the six and had the four. We finished second and third. Did not have the one. The one paid $83.86. It's 80 cents. I urge you to go back and watch the replay of the sixth race at Oakland on Sunday. The six is my also my top choice in the race. I have a big win bet on the six. Went off at great odds. I believe it was six to one. 
The six and four are kind of head and head. Last, I would say 100 yards. And it looks like the six is going to pull away from the four. You scan back, nobody's really making any move. Literally, the last 50 yards of this race, the five all of a sudden wakes up. He's in about fifth or sixth. He's not really doing anything. Wakes up and just takes off and just passes them like they're standing still after kind of running in place the whole stretch. This was sickening. I, I just couldn't believe it. At first, I would never get to the source. Second, how did he do it? You know, how did he was able to do it like that? It was just crazy. It was baffling. So mad because, you know, that would have been a really good six to one type of shot. Now, it gets worse. Keep scrolling down here. Top choice winner again. It paid $18.26 in the next leg. We went four deep, but the top choice gets it done. So we got what potentially could have been our, our short price with a six to one, with an eight to one. Absolutely sickening. You go down to the next leg, an 880 winner. So, you know, it's still a decent price there with the one who we had on the ticket, went three deep, got the one home. And then you go down to the last leg here and the 10 gets it done. And hey, we went too deep and, and the 10 gets it done. And so we're four out of five on a ticket that paid how much? $77,000. We're four out of five on, and we are ahead for the entire race on the horse that we lost to until the last few strides. Now, it's not gonna pay 77,000 if our six horse wins that second leg. It's gonna pay a lot. It's gonna pay a whole lot if the six wins that leg. It's gonna pay enough to pay for these rockets for a month of tickets. <laughs> you can lose and still, be okay it this was one of the worst and this is another way you can lose where it's just like random horse comes in i felt like this sequence was one of the better handicapped uh for as far as my opinions coming through that we had all week and maybe for the last three or four weeks and that was spot on it was having top choices run well at huge odds or at decent odds i should say just a totally random horse kicks us out of a big time payday. This was a sickening one for sure. Um, thought, boy, couldn't get any worse. Well, I was wrong. Let's go to Santa Anita to, to finish this off. We're going to talk about both sequences, the early and the late, because like I said, I was inventing ways to lose and showing you every single way you can lose with these tickets. All right, let's go to the early one. Had a, a nice ticket here going four by three by four by single by four. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Easy first winner, not, no sweat there. Hat was all over that race. Uh, no big deal. Go to the second race, went three deep, and got the three home. Feeling pretty good. Here we go again, right? This was a big one. Went four deep, fourth horse on the ticket, wins. We're three for three. I've got a single in the next leg that I don't think any way they could, this horse can lose. I'm feeling really, really good. Fast forward, the single loses. And if you go back and watch this trip, it could not have been any worse for our single, just horrific trip. Still there with a chance to win. They got the horse, Flavian Pratt's trying to get this horse to pass the four, simply won't do it. Watch the replay of the whole head on. It's anytime the, the three gets close to the four, his head turns to the grandstand and he loses momentum. Like he's scared of the horse or something. You, did, you could not get by. Unbelievable, horrible trip, lost again. And so then of course, the next leg, well, sure, a, you know, a $15.60 cent winner finishes the leg off. And, uh, you know, one of our, I think that was our fourth horse on the ticket. And we went four deep again. And you look at this pick five, pays uh, almost $2,000, $1,900. Probably would have paid about 1000 if the single wins the race. So, again, just a heartbreaker and, a, and a, just a horrific trip gets you beat in this one. All right, let's go to the last one. So... We went one two seven in the first leg, which was race five. Comes in one two seven, so we're all over. It. We're feeling great to kick this thing off. Fifteen dollars sixty cent winner, ninety six dollar ticket. We got the single coming up in the next race. The single airs ice dancing, absolutely dominant in this race. Easy signal single, never had to sweat it. We're two for two. We got a price home in the first leg. We got a single home in the next leg. We're forty going the rest of the way after all the heartbreaks on sunday i'm thinking okay i think we're gonna get paid back let's go to the next leg the wild grazer pays 580 to win no sweat there 
kick tone pretty much clear. Really like this horse. He's, uh, this is a really nice horse, running very well. Great, we're four by four in a field of five and a field of eight. In the next two legs, we're four by four. You can do the math. We've used almost every horse left. This leg was the big one, folks. Uh, reincarnate wins it. We go four deep in a five horse field. We left off the one. The one almost wins, which would have been still very, very heartbreaking on this thing. We are excited because we are four deep going to the last leg. We got a huge price. Reincarnate also on my fantasy team. So I'm very pumped. I'm yelling at the screen. So excited. So we're alive to one, four, five, and eight. Since it's the last leg, I actually wrote down the payouts and I know what they would have paid. So the one is paying 18,000. Unbelievable. The four is paying about 3,000. The five is paying 6,700. And the eight is paying 1,800. We'll take any of them after the day we've had. It'd be amazing. The five would have been incredible. Uh, we, we were in great shape here. One, four, five, eight. I re-handicapped this race when, when you know, in between the, the uh, you know, the, the, the eighth and the ninth race, when we were waiting for the court to happen. But I, I'm good here. I, I, I really feel nice. I, I feel like we're going to get this. My biggest worry going into the last leg, stupidly, was I think Gates going to win, and that'll be disappointing when we get 1,800. I was so confident. Well, we go to the last leg. Not only do we not win, we don't even get second. The two sets the pace. Just nobody goes with the two. The three nips the two at the wire. The four was like 100 links back, gets up for third. The five was 100 links back, get up fourth. The eight wasn't even hardly in the race. They're going like 49 for the half, and, and the eight's not even in the race. I just, I just could not believe this result. I just couldn't. I, I just thought we were all over it. And, and I look back at this card specifically and think I could not have done much different handicapping. You know, you look at the Gulfstream thing we talked about. It's like, well, you know, maybe you go deeper in that lake, you single somewhere else, you can get there. And I, I, I look back at it and say, we could have got there. You know, I just make some adjustments, could have got there. You go back and look at Oakland and you just get pissed because you felt like the handicapping was really good and I never could have used that horse. You go back and look at this one, I don't know what you could have done. I, I just shaking my head and and you know the early pick five, look, you get a bad trip sometimes, that happens, that's racing. This late one, hard to get over. Extremely hard to get over because I was so confident and just never could have used uh, uh, you know this three horse. And the sad thing is I've used the three a lot um in other races and just uh, hadn't ran well enough for me to use them uh in this race today or on uh, sunday i should say and just dejected a dejected feeling and, and like i've said many many times playing these that's what happens with a lot of times when you're just playing pick fours and pick fives you get heartbroken a lot but here's what i can tell you when you have a weekend like this and we go back and we look you don't have to change every single thing you're doing because it's just a lot of times it's just you got the raw end of the deal. You got some bad luck. I don't really think my handicapping or our handicapping was off to the point where I need to reevaluate things. I think I got to just kind of say, hey, keep doing what you're doing and they're going to come to you because, look, you hit one or two of these, you're making some a ton, you know, and, and, and enough money to where – it gets you through some of these, uh, you know, kind of days where you have the bad luck. So I think good luck's going to come our way this week. I, I feel really confident uh, in in what we're doing. I, I felt like we really saw things well. I think good luck's going to come our way. But you got to look back sometimes at these and just shake your head. Like I said, I, I learned a little bit from that Gulfstream sequence. I think I can take a, take some, you know, some things away. Maybe say, hey, three year old race, a lot of horses coming in. You know, just off maidens, you don't really know how they're going to stack up. Maybe go a little bit deeper in a race like that. Go shorter somewhere else and take your chances there. And like I said, with Santa Anita, you just kind of shake your head and say, hey, it was a, it was a tough, tough luck. But we're going to get them because we did, you know, identify some nice prices uh, that gave us those opportunities for big payouts. So, uh, like I said, uh, with this with this uh, show, I, I will say the good and the bad. And uh, we'll do it for the bad today. And uh, four tickets that just kind of will drive you crazy if you think about them too much. So, with that being said, that's it. I'm not thinking about them any longer. Well, 
Hopefully you guys have better luck than me. But uh, listen, if you didn't, you're not alone. And you're not alone with the frustrations. It's a... Uh, can definitely get to you but the good news is a new week is almost here we'll start the rockets on wednesday at golf stream and we'll turn the page and then of course on thursday friday saturday and sunday we'll expand and not just do golf stream but also head right back here santa anita this weekend oakland this weekend we'll mix in aqueduct as well and of course golf stream you know what we're gonna get them home this weekend i've got a feeling next week when i'm back we're gonna be talking about winners let's hope uh just takes a couple you know when you're doing pick fives to make you feel much, much better. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this video this week. We will see you back here next week. Whether it's good or bad news, we'll be here and we'll go through it together. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.